Hi, I'm Elaine Harding. Welcome to my blog.stampwithelaine.com and welcome to part two of Love You to Pieces. In part one, I showed you how I made these little puzzles to go in mini boxes measuring one and seven eighth inches squared. That's 4.8 centimeters. Then they sit on a mat as you're working on it and these were for individual party favours. This week I'm going to show you how I made this box to house all the pieces together and for um, to put the mats in. You need the Love You to Pieces bundle. This is the stamp set and these are the dies. So if you purchase them together then you will save 10%. To make the box base, you need a piece of whisper white that has been cut at 8 and 5 8 inches squared. You need to score it at 1 and 1 8 inches and 2 and a quarter inches on all four sides. So 1 and 1 8, 2 and a quarter, 1 and 1 8, 2 and a quarter, 1 and 1 8 two and a quarter. In metric that will be 2.9 centimeters and 5.7 centimeters on all four sides. Then you need two pieces of grey granite cut at six and one eighth by six and three eighths. Take your grey granite piece and with the six and one eighth inch the short side at the top you score at two and a half inches and three and five eighths inches. Rotate the cardstock uh, 90 degrees to the right and score at 1 and 1 8 inches. Rotate it 180 degrees and score on the other side at 1 and 1 8 inches. A piece of grey granite uh, 4 inches by 4 inches which is 10.2 by 10.2 centimetres to glue onto the bottom of the box. You need two pieces of lemon lime twist cut at two and one eighth inch by two and one eighth inch. That's 5.4 centimeters squared for the label. And a piece of um, shaded spruce two inches squared, which is five centimeters. You'll also need a piece of a pool party scrap to cut your puzzles, a topper. Um, and you need it large enough so you can cut three half inch or 1.3 centimeters of grey granite textured weave ribbon, a sponge dauber and pool party ink, egg shot and magnetic platform. So this is a no glue box. First you want to cut up to the score line from this bit here. Take the cardstock 180 degrees and do the same on the opposite side. So you're cutting up to this score line here. So it's the second score line in. And then you want to take these rectangles, the outer rectangles cut them off and discard them. <clears throat> now burnish all your score lines run some adhesive on the inside just on the outer flaps here whoops so have these flaps inside okay tuck those in that's in there fold it over
and by doing it this way it just gives you a much sturdier box it's more um, reinforced at the top I've already cut one side of the lid <coughs> now I'll show you how to do the other side so basically this this angled bit here goes on the bottom this folds over the top this is the top of your lid and we've mitered the corners so that goes in like that and this bit is glued to the top like that so that goes in and that's glued so that's how you get your hinge so let's do that so you cut this the middle flap here on these two lines okay so that's the bottom of your box we're working on the left hand lid now this is the side you want to get rid of so this will be the bottom of the box uh, you don't have to be precise there's no measurement for that okay so that's the bottom of your right side so we've reinforced that and you have to establish which way round the lid is going to go. So you want the angle, the cut, to run from this side down to that angle. And you can use a trimmer, but I'm going to use a long pair of scissors and point toward that corner. And I'm going to make a cut. Double check which way your cut is going to go so you want the cut to go from there to that corner so you're cutting down from this edge down to that edge okay now you need to cut this bit here so that it doesn't show so you need to cut it corner to corner on the square flap so this goes this way so you need to cut it from this angle down to that corner bring back the box base and now we want to adhere the lid so start from the top because you want the top to fit okay And you can just press down firmly to make sure that's attached. Now we want to put glue, bend that back. You want to put glue on these corners here. Don't want any glue on there. And then fold your lid down and just hold on to it until it bonds and you can just pinch it just to make sure it is glued stuck together okay so that's one lid now you repeat it for this side Now take that piece and apply adhesive to the bottom and then put it on top of that to give it a neater finish. Trim off the excess if there's um, any protruding from either side. Next we want to do our label so adhere the spruce to the lemon lime twist and then when you put it on your box just make sure that it's not, don't put any adhesive on this 
anything that's over this side um, because otherwise you'd stick the box down and you won't be able to open it. Where you centre the, if you just put glue on one side, okay, and then glue on just three sides of this side and then pop it on top and that way you won't accidentally get glue all over. I shouldn't have done that, I have to put the ribbon on first. So grab your ribbon and I don't actually have a measurement for how much ribbon because I use it on the reel so that there isn't any waste. Tie the ribbon round and then I showed you how to glue the label so let's put that there it's more or less centered press it down and then on the back take your other piece of lemon lime twist and glue that to the inside to give it a neater finish Make sure you line up the two pads here and secure it. Cut off the ribbon and right over left, loop it, tuck that ribbon in, anchor it and just pull on one side. Bring in the magnetic platform, make your sandwich base cutting plate um, and you need to cut three of these so die face down top cutting plate and then I'll run it through the big shot for the third piece you need to just stamp a sentiment one piece at a time which I've stamped here in pool party ink so here are my die cut pieces Grab my sponge dauber and just sponge the sides to give it a bit more depth. Tombow glue and just trim that. And that's how you make the bo this pretty box to house all those. Here's a little card I made to go with it. I'll show you this embossing technique in another video. So I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. If you do, then please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'd love it if you shared it on Facebook. And my grateful thanks if you do. If you're watching from YouTube, you'll find the list of supplies I use below this video in the show more section with direct links to my online store. You'll also find that all the measurements for the box will be listed on my blog at blog.stampwithelaine.com. You can also find me on Facebook, Pinterest or Instagram. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon. Bye.